Hi, I'm Richard Sams, and I teach the meteorology class here at Greater Hartford Academy of Math and Science. If you have a deep curiosity in the world around you, meteorology might be the course for you. As a meteorologist, you can satisfy the curiosity by investigating natural forces that shape the weather and climate. You can look for answers to important questions that our society is asking. How can we save lives? How can we protect our environment from things like flooding? Obviously, we can't stop flooding, but things that we might be able to do to help people be ready for floods and, and how to uh, best handle those things. Hurricanes, the damage that hurricanes can do can, is, is just enormous. And if you've never been through one, then you really don't understand, and the course would help you to, to be able to explain that. Tornadoes. Meteorologists also study not only the weather, but they study the gases in the atmosphere. Pollution might make for a very pretty sunset, but it's probably not good for the environment. We must address very complicated issues and answer very difficult questions about the behavior of the atmosphere and the effects on the people and the planet. Drought can lead to things like forest fires, ice storms. Why does one place get rain and yet another place maybe only 30 miles away would receive a terrible ice storm? Meteorologists use many tools, such as hygrometers, barometers, anometers. We use satellites. We use satellites for doing things like uh, tsunami reports, winds. We use many maps. This is a, uh, a vapor map, weather map. We have to make short-term predictions as, long as, as well as long-term predictions so that we can help with the important aspects of people's health and safety and the economy predicting whether an area is going to have a lot of solar radiation and whether that's going to lead into periods of drought. Being able to look at the various kind of clouds and being able to predict what the weather is going to be. Are you going to have a great day or are you going to get uh, hailstones dropped on your head? You'll be able to use your math and physics. This is an example of, of determining the terminal velocity of a hailstone. Meteor meteorologists also work in areas such as climate change. Are the problems anthropogenic? man-made, or is there more involved? Long-term climate change of our planet. What the climate was in the past, what it might be in the future. Will there be more hurricanes, larger hurricanes, such as we've seen uh, with Katrina? Will there be periods of drought, like we witnessed this year down in Georgia? Thank you, and I hope you consider meteorology.